This was what we believe to be a large bomb that was capable of mass destruction. Revelation from the Bucks County District Attorney. He says authorities uncovered this large bomb today as part of their probe of mysterious blasts that have rattled Upper Bucks County for months. And now the man who allegedly made this and other explosives is in custody and facing charges. Good evening, I'm Rob Vaughn. I'm Wendy Davis. No doubt the people of Upper Bucks County can breathe a little easier as they go to bed tonight. A man who ran his own chemical distribution company will have to face the law. Loud booms have rattled townships around Quakertown for two months, but today investigators lowered the boom on a 30-year-old man, raiding his home and his chemical business and hauling him away in cuffs. The Bucks County DA says David Sermon Jr. was arrested this morning in Milford Township after police, the FBI, and the ATF swarmed his house on Old Bethlehem Pike. They recovered explosives there and uh, other materials at Sermon's business consolidated chemicals and solvents in the village of Spin town a few miles away. Sherman is charged with possessing a weapon of mass destruction, reckless endangerment, possession of a controlled substance, and more. He's being held on $750,000 bail. Is Sermon, for certain, the so-called Upper Bucks bomber? Well, he is not charged with causing the 30-some-odd explosion since early April, but the DA says he is suspected, and they're trying to firm up that link. And this afternoon, bomb experts blew up explosives found at the chemical business and hopefully that will end up being the last boom in Bucks for a long time. Investigators searched Sermons Jr.'s home and business this morning, as we mentioned, and uncovered some troubling, odd items. WFMD's Jamie Stover is live in Milford Township tonight with those developments for us. Jamie. Rob Wendy, investigators recovered four IEDs, narcotics, and drug paraphernalia, but the discovery offering probably the most questions and quite frankly, not that many answers is a notebook that was discovered. And today, the Bucks County District Attorney told reporters to draw their own conclusions from the drawings we're about to show you. Perhaps the most remarkable feature of an investigation into man-made explosives and months of mysterious booms in Bucks County, a notebook of doodles, graphics, and a visual press release. Simplistic images allegedly created by a man sophisticated enough to make potentially deadly explosives. 30-year-old David Sermon Jr., the alleged bomb creator, and artist. One sheet shows Sermon Jr. and his unnamed girlfriend driving away from a mushroom cloud surrounded by poop emojis. There are speech bubbles with Sermon Jr. saying, oh man, his girlfriend replying, OMFG, you just blew expletive up. Walking into court, Sermon Jr. shook his head no when asked if his girlfriend was involved. She has been cooperative with us. She has been released. She has not been charged. In a page labeled breaking news press release, a whale is clenching a paper that reads news, ATF, FBI, you're effed. Elsewhere in the collection, a swastika, the words gay devil, gadioactive, and PETN, an acronym for explosive material. But I think that this really does give you a complete story. I, I don't want to imply that he was a part of a hate group where I may not have evidence of that. Sermon Jr., who we're told grew up in Coopersburg, ran his own online chemical supply business. Explosive chemicals, apparently. I don't know expressly what he would sell them for. The DA suspects some of those materials were used to make explosives Sermon Jr. had. It makes a lot of sense to me, Dave. We'll, we'll, we'll learn that as we get the analysis back from Quantico. Also headed to Quantico for testing this 18-inch device with multiple fuses. Investigators say it was ready to detonate, where and when, unknown. Sermon Jr. also reportedly had an ongoing feud with Milford Township ever since a fire at his business last year. That's reportedly when township officials discovered flammable materials at his business. Reporting live in Milford Township, Bucks County, Jamie Stover, 69 News.